just to pick up from where we left in the last video, we have this combination formula where we have n choose k, which gives us n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial. And that k factorial is eliminating the repetitions. It's eliminating the different ways to rearrange the same exact elements. So for the example above, we had four chopping, toppings to choose from, and we were choosing three of them. So we have four choose three, which is four factorial, over four minus three factorial times three factorial, or four factorial over one factorial, three factorial, four factorial over three factorial, which is just four. Example six, the possible words. This one is important. What we see with this is there are different ways to rearrange words. So let's look at these examples. In this first one, we have stipend. We want to know the different ways we can rearrange the letters in stipend. Clearly, since we have six di or seven different letters, the order does matter. This is a type of a permutation problem. It's a straightforward permutation problem where we have seven possible letters, and once we use one, it's gone. So we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, or seven factorial, which gives us 5,040 different possible ways to rearrange the letters in stipend. Well, let's look at abyss. This makes it a little bit more complicated. In abyss, we have two s's. So a, b, y, s, one, s, two is actually the same as a, b, y, s, two, s, one. It's a different rearrangement of the s's, but it gives you the same exact word. This is a combination of a permutation and a combination problem. So this is both permutation and combination. What we do is we still figure out how many letters we have total. So we have five letters, which gives us five factorial. But we want to divide by our repeating letters. So we're going to divide by two factorial, which accounts for all the different ways to swap out your s's. We know that five factorial is 120. Two factorial is two. And this gives us 60 different ways to rearrange the letters in abyss. All right, how about this one, Mississippi? In Mississippi, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 letters. My numerator is 11 factorial. Now I have to divide by repeating letters. I realize I have four I's, I have four S's, and I have two P's which means I need to divide by the ways to rearrange the i's, the s's, and the p's. I have 11 factorial now. Divided by 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial. A lot of these numbers will cancel with each other. All the ones reduce because anything times one is itself. Let's see, uh, two times two is four. Uh, the three reduces with the six. Four reduces with the eight. And then two times two is four. So I'm left with eleven times ten times nine times seven times five. You could have also typed this into your calculator. You'll get the same exact answer. Just sometimes it's easier to work these out with a pen and paper. I get 34,650. Or if I can just type this into my calculator, I'll get the same exact answer of 34,650. All right, that does it for these notes. In the next set of videos, I will be looking at the binomial theorem.